Hi, I'm Paul Lefevre, the Real Software Developer Evangelist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a thread to update your user interface. Here's the project. It's a pretty simple project. All it's going to do is move this progress bar when we click the Start button, as you can see. The progress bar uh, value, or the progress itself, is being uh, updated by a thread. There's a thread that's running in the background. As it's doing its thing, it's updating a value that indicates how much, uh, how far along it is. And on the window is a timer that periodically asks the thread how far along it is and updates the thread, the, the progress bar UI control with the, uh, the thread value. So let's take a look at the code. We're going to create a new Real Studio project. And in the default window, I'm going to add a couple of uh, the controls we need. So we'll add a start button. And a progress bar. I will call count progress. And we can make the window a little smaller since there's not really that much going on here. The other two things that we want on the window, uh, well before we get to that I'm going to give the uh, window a title. Since we're going to use a thread, we can drag a thread over to the uh, window area here and it doesn't need to be on the window itself so it makes more sense to keep it outside the window so you can easily access it and a, a timer is also going to be used in this project and the thread and the timer are going to work together the threads going to do the work and the timer is going to be in charge of updating the user interface so I'm going to double click on well before I double click on the thread let's give that a name as well we'll just call it counter thread and I'm going to double click on that to jump right to the run event handler for the thread. And we're not going to do anything too uh, exciting here. We're just going to uh, go through a loop and simply increment a value and then uh, and have it work a little slowly so we can actually see the progress being updated. But first we want to have a property to track the value that's being updated. I'm going to create this as a private property and because it's private I use the prefix of M that's just a general coding standard so M progress value and then when the thread starts we're gonna default that to zero and while it's less than a hundred we'll just keep incrementing it and so that this thread doesn't um, finish instantaneously we're going to have it uh, wait for a quarter second after each uh, update. So that's it for our thread. It doesn't do a whole heck of a lot but it's going to allow us to demonstrate the progress uh, bar being updated. Now we go to the start buttons action event and here is where you can tell the thread to start and you normally just do this with counter thread dot run now this only does some of what we need um, the button is going to start and run the thread the thread's going to run but the thread doesn't as you'll see here doesn't update the user interface in any way it's updating a property on the window but it's not updating any control or anything like that that's on the window so so far nothing really happens and if you run the project you're gonna see you know even though the thread ran is running here in the background it, the user interface is not being updated to update the user, user interface we want to have the timer do its thing so I'm gonna go back to the window and give our timer a good name then go to its action event handler
and oops, count progress is what we call that. So first, we're just going to make sure we don't try to set the uh, the counter, the progress counter, higher than whatever its maximum value is. And when that happens, we set it to the maximum and we turn the timer off because that means we're done updating. Otherwise, we're going to update the progress bar on the window with the property that the thread is updating. So essentially the if statement here is just checking are we done yet? If we're not done, move the progress along. And uh, in order for the timer to do this, it needs to ask the thread periodically what it's, uh, you know, it needs to periodically check what the value is that the thread has updated. So that means we're going to want the thread, uh, the timer, to run relatively frequently. The default is to have it run about once every second, but that's not really often enough. So I'm going to drop that down. And let's run the project here. So you can see now that it's running, the timer is running every, you know, 100 milliseconds, getting the the static, the progress value that the thread has been updating and using it to update the progress bar on the window. And that all proceeds along very nicely. So back to the window. That's pretty much it. The only other uh, things you want to do on your projects normally is to probably not stick with the default names. So I'll give that a nice name of main window. Uh, and the other thing that we want to do here is, uh, you know, I do a little bit of error handling. In particular, probably going to want to reset progress bar to zero. Make sure the timer has the right mode. Oh, we did that in uh, the properties pane. And then you can run the thread. Uh, this will cause a problem if you try to run the thread or you click the start button twice in a row because it'll try to run a thread that's already running and that raises an exception. So you can check for that by adding uh, some code. Uh, we'll just add a property that tracks if the thread is actually running. So if the thread's not running, we can start it up, tell it it is running, and then reset the value, make sure the timer is running in multiple mode, run the thread, and we could even change the caption to now say stop. And if the thread is running, then we can kill it, tell it it's no longer running, and set the caption of the button to start. So you can see what that looks like here when we run the project. So the button changed to say stop thread's still running. We can click the stop button. Thread now has stopped. And if I click start again, thread resets and starts again. Well, that's it. As you can see, updating the user interface using information from a thread is really rather simple. Uh, it just always involves this two-step process of the thread tracking its information somewhere and a timer looking in that place for the information and then the timer being the one that updates the user interface. I hope this is useful to you. Thanks for watching.